So to get into the iNav 2.0, or I guess really into the iNav uh, OSD, it's a lot like many other OSD menus, you can go half throttle, full left yaw, pitch up. It brings up the main menu. It pit tuning features OSD menu, battery, flight controller, firmware info, misc, and save and reboot. Pit tuning, you got your profiles. You got your three profiles you can set up in uh, iNav in the configurator. And uh, if you go in here, you can actually change the PIDs. So to move around in the menus, I'm using the aileron and uh, pitch stick. So to go up and down, you pitch up and down. To change, you go um, move your aileron left or right. Uh, these numbers I have all are from when I did an auto-tune. So I'm gonna leave them the way they are. And you can change your PIDs for your altimeter and mag magnetometer. And uh, there I just jumped from the top to the bottom to do that. I wanna go down, I can go all the way down. Or if you're at the top or the bottom and you hit up, then you'll jump to the bottom. Or if you're at the bottom and you hit down, you'll jump to the top. So it's a little helpful tr trick. Get your GPS and nav pids. And there, what I did is, uh, if you use your yaw stick, so you get your filters in here. And if you use your yaw stick and yaw left, you'll actually jump back a menu. Rate profile, you can um, change your rates. You get three profiles you can have there. And then change your rates here. So it's nice to have all that access to that. You can do it real quick in the field uh, when you're not flying or before you go fly. Features black box, you can enable it, disable it, and change your rate. Navigation, you got your control modes, uh, and then uh, just your general stuff for your navigation and multi-copter stuff also. Return to home has your uh, different return to home settings, your al altitude in centimeters, so 76 meters, 250-ish feet, climb to four, land never because I don't want my plane to land into a tree, all that good stuff. Um, there's actually, so if I go down in this menu, there's another line down here. So, and uh, fixed wing info, cruise throttle, minimum throttle, max throttle, all that good stuff, bank angles. Again, you can change any of those. Uh, VTX SA is smart audio. You can go in here, you can change, it says right currently, I, um, I have it set so it disarmed, um, it's low output, so it's only 25 milliwatt, which is what it says up there. I'm on channel R8. Um, that's the frequency it's on, and then I'm um, 25 milliwatt power. Um, you change your channel, just moving it over. And then if you do change it, what you need to do is, uh, what do is I'll go ahead and make it Fat Shark. And if you go to set, yes, it's gonna go ahead and jump over. So go my goggles real quick. Go to Fat Shark. We're gonna go ahead and take it back. So band again. Race eight. Set. Confirm. And then it jumped back. So it's nice to be able to just do that in the field if you want to change your um, buddies on the same or nearby frequency. And you can change some of the baud and things there. Um, VTX TR is just tramp audio. Same thing. Just tramp the uh, other protocol. And your LED strip, you can enable or disable it. Um, OSD, you get your layouts, so your default and your three alternative layouts. Uh, if you go in there, you can actually change all the different things that are in there. Enable or not, what row, what column, and uh, it shows you there's where it is. So and that automatically, so when I hit preview, I'm selecting it. And then it comes back to this menu on its own. So it's kind of a neat feature. I hadn't actually really done anything in here before, but you can change it for each of your different screens. Your settings for your OSD, volt decimals, coordinates, all that good stuff. And you can change your alarms. Your battery. So the nice thing um, in iNav 2.0 is got battery profiles. So you can actually have three different battery profiles. Um, so I've got one for a single 1550 4S battery, so you got four cells, and your capacity for the battery is 1550. This is good for, um, I like to have the battery used 
percentage in the screen. So then this one's same 4S, but 21550, so 3100. And you can change your um, settings for what's going to set it off. And I, I don't have this one set up, so. FC firmware gives you a firmware design app. It's on 2.0.0 and all that good stuff. Target. I'm on Omnibus F4 Pro. Miscellaneous. Minimum throttle OSD decimals, which you change the other one. And your RC preview. This one's good for if you're having issues with... Um, Possibly the throttle doesn't want to arm, or you don't want you're saying you can't arm because your throttle's not low enough. Well, you can check here. So minimum throttle I'm at 1,000, maximum at 2,000. Um, there, roll 1,000, oh, pitch 1,000, 2,000, and you can check all your channels there. Um, the one thing on this one you can't use your yaw to go back. You actually have to go to the back and select it. And then you can save and reboot. Um, the one th for save and reboot, if you do an auto tune. Once you land, you have to come in here. You have to disarm, come into the menu, and save and reboot in order for it to save your PIDs. If you don't, you do an auto tune, you fly all around, it'll change your PIDs. But if you don't save and reboot, you're going to lose them. So make sure you do that if you spend a lot of time flying around trying to tune. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, if you found it helpful, like, subscribe. If you got any questions, um, something else you're curious about, or something you want me to look into a little more in this menu type thing, or anything with, uh, I know, I'll uh, try and answer uh, anything you leave in the comments um just thanks for watching and i hope this is helpful